Hi everybody, Dr. Joe here. I wanted to take a few moments and talk to you about the breath that we do at the beginning of the new meditation called The Alchemist. Some of you have some questions that pertain to what you're doing and why you're doing it. And so the how's becoming a little difficult for you. So I want to kind of demystify that process so that you can practice it and assign meaning to what you're doing. You all know that living in stress is living in survival. And when you live in stress and survival, something is threatening, something we perceive as danger is converting energy into action in the body. And so heart rate increases, the respiratory rate increases, that means your breaths per minute increase, means the times your heart beats per minute increases, that rate increases because you're mobilizing energy and the body's preparing to run, to fight, or to hide. And it's a rush of energy, a rush of adrenaline. And our breathing changes when that occurs. And when there's chronic stress, in fact, we find that we tend to hold our breath, and that we don't breathe, and the body is an oxygenated cells don't get the oxygen that they need. So it makes sense then that if you slow your breathing down, you could actually take the body out of that state. And if you can do it while you are practicing relaxing and teaching it to move out of stress and move out of survival, that when you slow your breathing down, our research shows that you slow your brain waves down. And when you slow your brain waves down, you stop your thinking, your analytical mind. And that's important because that's what you have to get beyond in order to be in a creative state. So we are converting from the sympathetic nervous system to the parasympathetic nervous system. Breathe in and out of the heart and put our attention on it. Our research also shows that where you place your attention is where you place your energy and the heart starts to literally increase a very low frequency that's indigenous to the heart and that energy tends to inform the brain that it's time to create. So we're moving into a creative state with this breath. Now we teach this breath at the week-long advanced retreats. We teach this breath at our advanced follow-ups, and it's new to some of you. So let's demystify the process so that you have within your reach the tools to begin to move your brain and body into a creative state. So when you start the breath, you inhale slowly through your nose, and it's the slow inhalation. While you're doing that, I'm asking you to inhale instead of tense up, inhale, relaxing, then you hold it. And when people hold their breath, they tense up. And I'm going to ask you to hold your breath and relax. Work on relaxing. Work with your body to relax it. Then as you exhale, I want you to exhale. And I want you to remind yourself to relax when you exhale. And I want you to hold your breath for a second. And sometimes when people hold their breath, they get tense. And I'm going to ask you to relax just for a moment and then inhale again. And it's this process in its repetition over and over again that moves the body out of that state of survival and causes us to become more relaxed and awake. 